This Saudi king supported Palestine throughout his life, and not just with words, but through actions too, highlighting his unwavering resolve to stand up for what he believed in. The year is 1973, and Saudi Arabia's third monarch, King Faisal bin Abdulaziz, has banned the sale of oil from the Middle East to its ally, the United States. Following US President Nixon's request to Congress for over $2 billion worth of aid to Israel during its 1973 war with Egypt and Syria. King Faisal's embargo forced the US to the negotiating table to call upon Israel to return the lands it had seized from Egypt and Syria during the previous 1967 war between them. But this embargo didn't just target the US, it also targeted several of Israel's wartime allies, including the UK, Canada and South Africa. Over the next few years, an international crisis ensued, and a surge in oil prices led to a boom for Saudi Arabia's economy. King Faisal was then able to use these newly acquired riches to send aid to Egypt and Syria during and after the war, as well as to the Palestinian Liberation Organization. The king had been speaking up for Palestine for decades, since plans to partition the nation had been drawn up by Britain and later the UN. <laughs> King Faisal desired unity among Muslim nations and led the establishment of the Islamic Conference Organization following an arson attack on Masjid al-Aqsa in 1969, which left him deeply troubled. يناديكم ويستغيث بكم أيها الإخوة لتنقذوه من محنته ومن مبتل يبه Just one year after King Faisal's oil embargo was lifted, he was assassinated in a public meeting by his nephew, who had recently returned to Saudi Arabia after a long stay in the United States. It was reported at the time that the king's nephew had a history of mental illness but some speculated that his assassination was linked to his continued support for Palestine. King Faisal consistently called on Israel to withdraw from occupied territories, including East Jerusalem, up until his death in 1975. <laughs> ألا يبقيني لحظة واحدة على الحياة